Hey friends, welcome back. I am really excited that you're here because I want to talk about space this week. Not like the final frontier or anything like that, but where you work on your craft. I want to talk about your creative space. <laughs> on is a place where you can be successful. For me, if I am in the middle of my living room, like I am right now, trying to work on things, I can get really distracted by, you know, the mess around me or being on the internet or thinking about a snack in the kitchen. I mean, all kinds, I find that I am so distracted when I'm trying to write in the living room. Recently, we just moved my kids into the same room, so my son's bedroom was empty. And I have taken it over. I was gonna record this video up there, but I found some oops paint at Home Depot, and now I'm in the process of taping all of the trim in the room so I can paint it. So. All of my my sewing machine and my laptop desk all that stuff is just jammed in the middle of the room so not a really successful space however I have been able to work in it a couple times this week and I have gotten so much done working in my own dedicated space when I go in there I know that it's time to work and so it's really easy for me to buckle down and get work done how about you? Where do you work? What space is the best for you to work in? So that list of distractions that I was telling you about, that's something that you should also do. Think about what distracts you in the space that you're in. Is being too close to the kitchen a distraction for you? Because it is for me. Is being in a high traffic area of the house a distraction for you? Because it is for me. So having this dedicated room upstairs is really nice because it's away from all the regular traffic. I have a door that I can close and it's really out of the way. That is a very nice distraction free environment for me. It gets me away from all of my biggest distractions. Well, except the internet. That's my biggest distraction. Is that yours too? Please tell me I'm not alone. But if I can get away from all of the other things, it's easier for me to not trawl the internet while I'm trying to work because I'm in that space that tells my brain it's time to work now and I can more easily settle into that work mode. Another consideration that you want to think about as you try to find your space is to think about the actual physical environment that you work in. Do you need windows? Do you need not windows? Do you need a big table? What kind of physical things do you need in your environment in order to be successful? I definitely need a window. Doesn't matter where I am or what I'm working on, I need to be able to see outside. That helps me to be able to focus. I also find that I'm very unmotivated to work in rooms with white walls. It is so weird, but if a room has white walls, I simply can't focus and I can't work. Unfortunately, my current space upstairs has white walls, but like I said, I found some paint and I'm going to paint them and I really feel like that's going to be something that will help to draw me into that work zone because it will be a warm, inviting space for my brain to relax because I really like the colors that the walls are going to be and it will help me to dive in and do what it is I need to do. So not everybody works well in a quiet room in their house. Maybe you need to get out. Maybe you need to go to the library, to a coffee shop, to somewhere else. Maybe being out in the open where other people are walking by helps you really dive into your work zone. Everyone is so different. But if you're going to be successful in pursuing your craft, you really need to figure out in what space you are the most successful. So how about you? Where's your most successful space? 
I would love to hear where you work. What do you work on? Tell me about your space. And I cannot wait to show you mine because I'm, I'm super excited about it. Let me know about yours in the comments. You can always find me here. I post new videos on Tuesdays. I'll have a new blog on Wednesday over at carriejellic.com. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, both at Carrie Jellic Author. I would love to hear about your creative space, to see a picture of your creative space. That would really bring my heart some joy. So, so find me, send me a picture, give me a description, and I would love to hear about your creative space. That's all I have for this week. We'll talk soon. Bye.